Okay, so I just got done doing a grave here in Milan, Michigan. This was the last execution that happened in the state of Michigan before, uh, just before they abolished it. I guess what happened was this I robbed a bank called Chemical Bank in Michigan. Him and uh, another guy, I guess, uh, truck driver was killed and i think this guy was a federal prison there's a federal prison not too far from here in milan and i guess that's where they uh execute the person so today's a very nice hazy day and on another note i'm glad i'm not in the cemetery because i did get into a uh, motorcycle accident and broke my shoulder in two spots three broken ribs i'm on my way back out home to battle creek and if you ride a motorcycle, always wear a helmet. I wore my helmet, so that saved it. Uh, the other part is the fact that I lift weights. So if I didn't lift weights, I would have been more damaged in my shoulder. Number one thing is, I'm going to tell people right now, motorcycles are extremely dangerous. I made a video a while back saying I don't think they're dangerous as long as you drive safe. But coming to talk to with some other people and... Uh, the stuff I went through just sitting down thinking I was wrong. They're very extremely dangerous. And one thing my uncle pointed out, it may not be your driving, it's other people's driving. Because I've been cut off many times. Sometimes people don't, uh, honestly don't see you, but a lot of them just think they own the road. So that's enough of that story. Um, fuck. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm down here in Milan, Michigan, Marble Park Cemetery for a little Michigan history here. Anthony Chepatoris, his birth date's May 10th, 1898, in Poland, different country. His death date's July 8th, 1938, age of 40, down here in Milan, Washington County, Michigan, Marble Park Cemetery. He was the first person executed by hanging in the United States under the National Bank robbery. He robbed Chemical Bank, which is still in existence today in Midland, Michigan. Chabalas and Jack Gracie attempted to hold up the bank, and unfortunately Chabalas shot and killed an innocent bystander and a truck driver by the name of Henry Potter. Porter. During the robbery, Gracie was shot and killed by Dr. Frank Hardy. He was a dentist who worked above the office of the bank. Chabalas later on was hanged at the Milan Federal Detention Farm. It is now a federal correction institution in Milan, which is not too far here in York Township. So legally speaking, Michigan abolished the death penalty now as far as I remember and know and taken law federal always has presidents over state almost all the time or, or depending on the situation depend on the judge and law so as far as I know if the federal government wants to they could still do executions down here in Michigan but they don't need to they do it at Terry Hall Indiana which is a very large federal prison down in lower indiana i've been by there several times it's been about 14 years so let's go ahead and check this grave out and this is a little michigan history here okay i think this is the grave right here there he is the last execution of the state of Michigan, Tony Chabotoris, 1900-1938, in loving memory. So, a little neat history here, and you can see the haze is getting worse here in the state of Michigan. So, I'm heading out west here to go home. I uh, just met with the surgeon about my arm. So let's go ahead and head out of here and head to a different town. Right guys? I hope you enjoy tonight's film feature. Please make sure and check out my other videos. Have a great day. Driver. He's flying down a mountain, he almost flipped over.